Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, we're gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna start doing reaction videos, and I hope you guys don't totally like diss it, you know, because it's kind of a gaming channel and a skit channel, but it'll be fine. So today, we're gonna be reacting to a cringe video. It is called Top 50 Most Viewed Cringe Videos of 2017 Part 1 best of reddit cringe compilation now i'll put the link of the video in the description below so you know like just to give them credit i mean it is their video but it's other people's videos as well <clears throat> i'm gonna stop rambling and we're just gonna react to the video all right we'll be getting some assistance tonight from his stepson josh so josh will let paul know when the buzzer sounds to start his run what an inspirational bloke what is this like american ninja there you go, there's the signal, and he's underway, like Paul Cashin, 48 years of old, from Queensland, oh no, just so unlucky. What do you lose? Oh, and I just don't think he's realised. Yeah, he managed did. to get himself up there. I don't know how these work. But it was just that touch of the water. And once you've got a wet foot, you can't recover, you are disqualified, but it's... Oh God. Oh, he touched the water. Talon? Okay. Is he deaf? Paul just listening to his stepson oh, receiving God. the news. Sadly that he is just So this dude is obviously deaf. And I'm assuming like this was like a special episode or something where they put the let the deaf guy go. That's horrible. Qualified. It took a little time because of the signing that had to be done to Paul, but he's just learned that he is disqualified. Yep. Very disappointing. So you got jobs? We've got job seekers. IT, I need healthcare, a job. finance experts. Their 30 second pitch straight ahead. All right, Richard Chasky, take it away. Hi, you're looking for someone who looks like has a bill. More than just a focus on uh, technology. You're looking for someone who has. <laughs> he just stopped. That's okay. Go for it. Oh Tell my God! I hate that. Me. If I was him, I'd be like, "Shut table. up, Go bitch!" Ahead, what do you have? What can you offer? Oh God. That. She made it so much worse by saying that. That's okay. Regroup for a second. No problem. Okay. I, that Go woman ahead. is so. Take it again. Okay. You're looking for someone who is more than the just technology savvy. Just someone technology savvy. Who has customer focus and international experience. A problem oh, they're all laughing at him too. Who is a problem solver, analytical, yet still has common sense. I'm that person. I have great customer. All right, I'm going to stop this for a second. So I take a TV production class with all my friends, and. What he's doing right now is he's reading off a thing where the camera is, so he's looking basically at the camera, but he can see a script as well. So he's obviously having a hard time reading it or seeing it. It's either of those, but we, we have that problem in our class as well. And great soft skills. I have the ability to take... Maybe he's just nervous. End -to -end ...ownership of a project and the determination to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Yep. Fantastic, Richard. Thank All right, you. Lyle. And, and she cut him oh, off. You, it's okay. You don't have to thank us. We're going to move right on to Lyle. Nasser, go ahead, Lyle. Philippines of Austria. <laughs> <laughs> so, is Hitler from Austria? Okay, that's a bad <laughs> question because we normally don't really talk about Hitler, but yes, he is. <laughs> oh my God, our president is doing Hitler stuff here in the Philippines. That's crazy. What is this? Well, that's how it is. <laughs> Who are we, are we live with? Um, on my Facebook. Uh, on it's Facebook. hard to just no sleep when you're Facebook. tired, because people are tired most of the time. Hi, I love you so much. Oh, thanks. Can I give you a hug? No, thanks. Please? No, thanks. A little one. Yeah, no, thanks. Oh. Uh, just one hug. <laughs> now they're laughing about it. I don't know who that was. <laughs> yeah, that's Kesha. Okay. Well, I wish her the best. <laughs> um... Honestly, I didn't expect this. I, I, it's just unfortunate that I was. I think I've watched the show before. That drama. I know. I forgot what I it's called. It. So pissed. I am genuinely shocked. The fact that I'm going home with the clown ruined it for the both of us. I really thought that I was going to get the chance 
to spend more time with Rachel. No, I'm not going to. Because of the Wah boom. Your mouth. I hate him. He lives in my town. I can't get away from him. <clears throat> I don't give a f about Blake. He's a workout dietitian. What? At this point, I would say nothing to Blake. What a piece of man. Time to kill this guy. Stupid Time to kill this bomb. guy. What up, Lucas? What's up, man? I just want to say, f you, bro. You're a piece of You're here for the wrong reasons. I got drug into your I see right through you. I know why you're here. And it kills me. Why am I here? You're here to be on TV. And He's why on TV, is that? though. He's our, you're already... Because you are a wannabe comedian. You're a washed up joke. I can't help but feel like if you weren't here, I would have had a real shot at getting to know What's Rachel. What's going on? But because you were too busy and making a joke out of this experience, <laughs> I'm going home. You win, Lucas. Wabo. Yeah. Thing is, is like, it's not about winning. It's about the world, brother. It's about the world. And you have no I, this, idea this what so the drunk. world means. You're the Waboom clown. I think they're both drunk. I'm the nice gentleman. Go back to your protein shakes. Go back to your steroids. I just, I just, I'm just gonna let you Yo, speak for yourself. Uh, 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 uh. Just get back to your garbage. What are they doing? They're obviously, I think they're both drunk. And I, I think I've seen this show before. It's like a bunch of men come. I, I watch the other version where a guy is, uh, whatever. It was, it's basically like a hoe show, you know what I mean? I don't know. Just clown life, dude. My clown life? Yeah, because I'm a clown? I'm a You're, clown! No, no, hold on, hold on. Because I can be hold funny! On. No! You don't even know what funny looks like! Funny is not waboom! Waboom mm -hmm. is like, I waka, know waka, what funny is! In face, waka waka, clap clap, clap, joke. Like, <laughs> if somebody said, how would you summarize Lucas in one word, I would say, waboom. <laughs> Shut up, you're I'm jealous. I'm not a failed comedian, I'm a personal trainer. You're a failed workout, how am I a want to call little yourself, workout dude? person. Oh, oh, okay. Did you do that well? Are you a failed comedian? Just stop. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Just be Lucas. Okay, so stop. Okay. Just, just, just shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. Yeah. Shut your mouth. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you change the world one waboom at a time. See you later. See ya. Hey, boy. What are you talking about? You want me to ask? I put the glass down. What? Nani, they want you to ask the ladies behind you if you can eat their ass. Hello. They're British. Can you stop? Oh, they understand? I, I they understand. Oh my god. You guys are too loud. I have to leave. Oh. You're embarrassing me. Oh Wait, you're god. leaving? No. I'm not done drinking. I'm not done drinking. English, right? Well, they're British. I didn't know. Oh my god. Wait, don't I thought leave. they spoke British. And it's English. Well, if there was standing room only here in Lincoln, Nebraska, it would be okay for Claudia Lord, Jamal's mother, because she spent more time on her feet than in her seat. You have to be honest. Who is more nervous before kickoff? You or Jamal? I am. I am. Jamal is cool. All his teammates said, all you have to do is wait one quarter, maybe one and a half, and then the country will know because there's a big secret. Well, is the secret out? The secret is he'll make it to the lead. He'll make the lead through. The memories of the murder of her husband back in 1995, Ron, are one thing, but it's the motivation for her son that's come from those what memories, the? I think. I think that's a bad thing. I'm a First Amendment husband. absolutist. I believe in only two things completely, the First Amendment and boobs. And so once they made the decision that they were Wait, not going to allow a you conservative, believe in the First Amendment non sports related and... commentary, they right, couldn't do on, it Hold either. on, hold on, hold on. I just want to make sure I heard you correctly as no. a woman boobs. anchoring the show. Did you boobs. say, what did you just you say? Heard, you yeah. believe in the First Amendment and... B-W-O-B-S? Boobs. Two things that have only never let me down in this entire country's history. The you First Amendment and none boobs. Of that. So those are the only two things I believe in absolutely in the country. And so I don't think Jamel Hill should be fired. But I do think straight up that once you make the decision that you are going to let Kurt Schill go, that you have to also make the decision that you're going to let Jamel Hill go. I think that's a bad decision. I think ESPN has made bad decisions that have led to... 13 million subscribers bailing on the network. They've made bad decisions that have led to ratings collapsing. Jamel Hill's television show is collapsing. Ratings were down 20% last week over last year. I think that's why she's angry. I think that's why she went after Donald Trump. She's begging for ESPN to fire her Trump so she can work somewhere else. About. Okay. Okay. Don't say boobs um, again. Keith, what do you think? I, listen, I, I'm, I'm astonished at almost everything I just heard. 
Um, Boobs. One of the one of the things that and Jamel's a personal <laughs> friend, not just not just a colleague, but a personal friend. One of the things that Jamel's had to deal with her entire career, and many women who I'm friends with in this business and have been friends with in this business for a long time, is sexism, blatant sexism, comments about her appearance, comments about uh, about her racially, comments about her inability or perceived inability to be able to comment on sports because of, because of her gender. For, so for somebody to come on CNN and to say something like the only thing I believe in in a discussion I'm about just, something. I'm still there too. And I just want to make sure I'm hearing you correctly. B-O-O-Z-E or B-O-O-B-S. Because yeah. as a woman, I'm, I'm, I'm offended. I'm, as in boobs. I believe completely in the First Amendment and in boobs. Those are the only two things I believe boobs. 100% in in this country. And by the way, Jamel has absolutely nothing. I highly doubt he actually means boobs. Like, you know, it's just like a funny joke he's probably saying, and now he's going on with it. You know, like, you say something like, I believe in freedom and sex, and then you literally, you don't mean sex, but you know what I mean. Here, live on CNN, speaking of, immediately, I, listen. Did you notice that? He went straight to that. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely I, right. I, I, did go, guys, I did go straight to that. Why would you that even because say because that live on national television and with a female oh, host? I say it live on the radio all the time because it's true okay. and that's what I do. I see because I like of... boobs <laughs> and the First Amendment, which is exactly what I said. Listen, I like listen, boobs. Brooke, I, I, I think that speaks for itself. I, I, I love the First Amendment as, as well. Uh, I also love women and I and, and, and as you one don't love who boobs too? Who, the one as one who truly I'm not going to talk about that on, on television because it's irrelevant to the topic. No, boobs it shouldn't are be brought totally up here. Now. Why That's not? The whole I am a, a supporter of, of women in their careers. I'm a supporter, a staunch supporter of women like Brooke, who I've sh shared the airwaves with I before, and like Jamel, who is a personal friend of mine for a long time. And to have I'm done. That even, I'm sorry. To have her I'm done. anatomy brought up, to have anyone's anatomy brought up in this I'm conversation. I'm done. This is done. This is conversation, conversation over. Yanking mics. Uh, bye. See ya. See ya. Um, that was entirely inappropriate, and it just took me. Forgive me, but it took me a second. It's like live television happens, and you think you hear something, you're not entirely <sighs> sure, and then you realize it happened. I don't like that woman. <laughs> yes. Come on. Come on, what? It's your life. Oh, oh. Cock block. Oh, is she she should leave. Okay, well that's the end of the video obviously, but some of those are really long and I didn't like that, but some of them are short and they were funny. The uh, boom or wonk or whatever the hell that one was on the Bachelor show. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. That was that was that was pretty funny. The first one was messed up too. I, all, that's all I'm remembering is the, the guy that's deaf. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and comment down below any videos you want me to uh, you know react to next time so then I can do that because it's kind of hard to find videos that you guys haven't seen. I mean, you guys probably have seen it but you want to see my reaction. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.